You know, Iowa is the leader in ethanol production, and Governor Kim Reynolds wants to make sure that blended fuels are available always across our state. A bill proposed on Monday would require that newer gas stations offer E15 fuel from at least one pump by 2026. Iowa City reporter Travis Breeze lies for us tonight with how this bill might affect smaller Iowa gas stations. Tell us more. Ron, E15 is 15% ethanol and 85% gasoline. It may be harder for some older gas stations to offer this fuel, but the bill is taking that into consideration and is trying to reach a compromise. The bill says that at least half of the pumps at a gas station must offer E15. Stations have until 2026 to comply, but if they upgrade their systems, they do have to add those new pumps at the end of construction. If a station says that it doesn't have the infrastructure to do this or can't afford it, the bill establishes a fund to help them pay and also allows them to file a waiver for exemption. Iowa is the number one uh, producer of, of ethanol and biodiesel. And uh, if we want other states to promote the product, I think we need to step up. The bill passed out of the House Ways and Means Committee just this afternoon with bipartisan support. A Democrat sent me a statement saying that he hopes they can get it to the governor's desk this session. Lawmakers tried to pass a similar version to this bill last session, but it uh, was not able to go through. The feeling seems to be that this one is closer to a compromise with the gas companies, and it has a better shot of going through. Live in Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Now, Travis, bipartisanship obviously evident on this issue always. The Department of Energy says, points out, by the way, that E15 is safe for all normal cars made after the year 2001. However, they say it would likely lead possibly to lower gas mileage because ethanol is less energy dense than regular gasoline. 